So uh, again, this is just about uh, closing what we were talking about last time. And with that, I want to come to memory cells. So uh, we discussed there are different kinds of memories, uh, single port, dual port. I'm now introducing you multi-port memories also. And then ROMs also we talked about. So single port memories, the most common single port memory that you would have heard about is a 60, 60 memory. Am I right? Anyone who has not heard about the 60 SRAM? So all of us have heard about 60 SRAM sets. So 60, what does RW stand for? Can anyone tell me? Read, write. Yes. So this is a single port memory in which you can do both read and write. Hmm? Now let's come to the two port category. Over there are, there are two cells, both HT, but one is two read write and one is one read, one read write. What does this mean? Uh, this means that the one, one port channel of the bit line is just meant for read, reading and the other channel of the bit line uh, can allow read as well as read. Yes. And the second one, both the channels can be used both for both read and write operations. Both the channels are symmetrical. Hmm? Uh, what about the 10 T cell? 2 R and 1 read write. How many ports are we talking about? In Three ports. Three, Three ports. ports. Of which two ports are only read. read ports. And one port is both read and write. So if I want to do three reads in this port, port memory, can I do? Yes. Three sir. parallel yes. reads? Yes. yes, I can do. Yes. If I want to do two writes in this particular multi port memory, can I do? No, sir. No, no sir. because no, only sir. one channel has the write capability there. Hmm? Okay. Again, this is important so that you understand uh, when you read some technical paper or something, you just should know what this means. So 60, 70, 40, 50, 20, 10, 80, all this means how many transistors in the memory set. For a DRAM, we would call 1T, 1, 1T, 1C. That is one transistor, one capacitor. For a MRAM, you may simply call 1, 1T, 1R. Uh, R RAM, you may call 1T, 1R and stuff like that. Or if it's a crossbar memory, there may be no transistor at all. It's just a crossbar there. You will need some transistor, but yeah. Take care. So uh, this, the number before the, the alphabet T represents number of transistors in the memory cell. So which, which memory cell do you think is bigger, 60 or 40? It should be 60. 60. 60. Why? number of devices so more area yeah. more number of devices it depends on the size of 40. sir it depends on the right driving size how are you sizing the 40. Mm. good just 40 doesn't mean small cell it depends on what are the specifications if the 40 cell is designed such that it has a huge current and 60 cell is designed such that it is a high density cell 60 cell could be smaller than the 40 cell we just talked about it in the last slide, nay? Depending on the optimization, a 60 cell could be denser than a 40 cell or a 5T cell. Also the layout, physically, how I'm placing those four cells, what are those four cells? Are they all T MOSs? Are they all N MOSs? Are they T MOSs and N MOSs? That could also change the kind of area we are talking about. Hmm? Are you able to see this? So when you are simply looking at, um, how do you put it? We are simply talking about or reading technical papers which talk of 4T cell or 5T cell. Mentally, we might be tuned to think that they have lesser area, that they are denser. What I'm telling you is, don't jump to that conclusion just yet. You need more information to arrive at that answer. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Now, what does this uh, NOR and NAND ROM mean? Any idea? No idea yet? Might okay. be uh, a kind of uh, we use a stack which forms NOR and 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 similar kind of architecture. Yeah, so how is the memory cell memory cell organized? 
is it organized in a NOT structure or a NAND structure? What this means, we will look at it, uh, I think, in the next class. Hmm? Uh, then what does this diffusion contact metal one and via mean for a ROM cell? Might be, sir, uh, if we programmed uh, uh, in ROM at uh, fabrication level uh, in diffusion itself or contact or metal one, then it will be called as dead. Very good, Prince. Thank you. So this diffusion contact metal one via these are layers on a on a layout, hey, na? Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. These are the different layers and on the layout on the silicon. So which layer do you use to program this read-only memory? So read-only memory means what something is already written into the memory. Now you can only read it. Something is already written means it is already programmed. So when you want to program the memory, do you use the diffusion layer or the contact layer or metal one layer or via one layer that tells what kind of ROM cell it is? Hmm? So which ROM cell would be most preferable? Mm -hmm. So metal one, I think so. Metal or the via one. I... Why? Uh, so diffusion, so diffusion, uh, so diffusion is the devices. Mm -hmm. So if, if I do not put a device, there is no current flowing. I can have a zero. So, but I would have more flexibility connecting the, with the metal one. Why? I'm manufacturing something. I put a device somewhere. I not put a device somewhere. Manufacturability to koi farak nahi pada. Sir, could it be the reason of the masks? Of the mask? No. Anyway, you're making a deficiency. Ya to aisa ho jata that to write, to program the ROM, you need an extra mask. We are not talking about that. We are talking about regular, um, what do you say, diffusion. You anyway need to need a mask. You need to make the layers. Abu, so mask make extra hole hai ki nahi hai. And how does that change anything? So, but mask costs are significant, right? So. You anyway are making a mask, na, Raghav. You need a diffusion mask anyways. Yes, if you are programming the memory in metal one, do you not need the diffusion mask? You will still need the diffusion yes. mask. Yes. Hai na? Yes, sir. There's something else. Diffusion to nahi yoga, sir. Hmm? Uh, diffusion to nahi yoga. Why not? Uh, diffusion is ROM D. There is a ROM called ROM D. Nee, ROM and diffusion. Preferable, ma, sir, diffusion is not diffusion. Because in the first stage, we can do diffusion. Yes, so I can do programmation in that same program. But, sir, uh, 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 you are saying that it will be preferred. Yes, sir, because I was thinking that if it will diffusion, ho jayega, so uh, routing matlab metal ka to hum log aur uh, via wagare contact wagare to change kar denge but uh, diffusion mein agar uh, program kar dete hain to fir uh, it's kind of ki to fir hatana uh, padega pura apna paper jo hai ha to wo to layout banate samay kar dunga na manage yes sir layout banate samay sab kuch manage ho jayega na usme kya hai wo drc clean to karunga hi Yes, sir. sir, we need a squarish memory now. So, this shape square hoga usko. So, whether I use a program something through diffusion or contact, does that change the squarish, the aspect ratio of the memory? We're not talking about max over here, na? Okay, sir. Uh, okay. Sir, could it, uh, could it be the reason that uh, if you go for diffusion type or ROM cell, it will be mask programmable? Whereas when we uh, talk about something like metal-based uh, ROM cell, it can be uh, P-ROM, uh, programmable ROM. So it, it can be one time. No, no, no. You're talking about only ROMs. They're mass programmable ROMs only. Okay. So um, 
how many of you like pizzas you can put a plus one in the chat window no one likes pizzas okay some people like pizza okay. so uh, what do you think you know dominos or something they are delivering your pizza within 20 minutes hmm so do they net the dough just before just when you order or something is done previously when you order a pizza does domino guy start to mix maida and water and everything as soon as you order the pizza or something is done beforehand the dough is done before hmm? the dough is net the dough is leavened it is even what do you say ईस्ट के बाद उसको इवन वो भी कर देते हैं बिफोर लॉन्ग बिफोर यू दे डोंट इवन नो दैट यू आर गोइंग टू प्लेस एन ऑर्डर बट दे नो सम ऑर्डर वुड कम सो बिकॉज दे हैव डन सम अमाउंट ऑफ वर्क ऑलरेडी एज सुन एज यू प्लेस एन ऑर्डर ऑल दैट ही नीड्स टू डू इज ओके इट्स अ रेगुलर साइज पिज्जा आई नीड दिस काइंड ऑफ दिस अमाउंट ऑफ डो आई विल जस्ट फ्लैट एन एट पुट द टॉपिंग एंड गो हेड नाउ दैट इज डोमिनोज you you also have get frozen pizza from the market hmm you also get frozen pizza from the market yes, or you get you get a pre made uh, pizza bases what do you do with those pre made pizza bases if it's a pre made pizza base all that you need to do is apply some sauces on it put the toppings put it in the oven you will get something pizza out is in 5 minutes Domino's guys, because he had to do some extra stuff. What what extra stuff? He had to actually flatten the dough. Then he had to put the sauces. So there was at least one extra step. Hmm? So he would take a little longer. Hmm? Similarly, if there is a suppose we are talking about a set top box. Hmm? Suppose we are talking about a set top box, and we say that there are four customers that. a particular company say broadcom has to handle uh four customers could be airtel jio and, uh, and dish tv and blah 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 hmm? each one of them need some different programmation for their boot code because they have different validation codes with their satellites and something like that hmm? so you need to put a rom in in those chips and you need to program it according to the vendor what would you want you would want to uh, deliver the chips to the customer as early as possible or is it fine if you deliver it 4 days 5 days later 10 days later is the customer ready to pay you money he needs to go to the market would you want to deliver it to him as a that's a figure of merit that's a thing that he would value na hello yes sir hmm so if i say that the programmation has to be done at diffusion level then i have to wait for the customer to give me his or her program and only then i will be able to do the diffusion layer in the first place hmm whereas if the programmation is at via one level then i know that the memory is exactly the same up till metal one so i will already prepare those bases huh i will already have the wafers processed up till metal one as soon as the user code comes i will generate the mask for via one and i will process the wafers from via one onwards after the customer places a request what would be faster diffusion or via one what is faster via one via one via one so as higher up metal layer or as higher up layer that you use for programming a rom that is what is preferred clear hello yes sir but still but still we go to this is it because it faster aditya dobara se bolo please sir is it because it is faster you go to diffusion then everyone will choose to go with the higher layer uh no the if you if you use the diffusion layer you could be denser yeah or it could be that in total you have only three metals in a given process 
uh, imaging process, for example, we talked about it in the DVD course also. You have only three metal layers. You do not want to use one metal layer for programming. You would rather go for diffusion. Hmm? But when you have 10 metal layers in the chip, you can as well use one metal layer or a VR layer for programming. And great, works well. There could be different reasons why you would use different layers. Raghav? Uh, sir, is this approach called the gate array based design? I mean, is this the same approach? No. No. Okay. No, we're not talking about gates here. We're talking about memory cells only. Okay. Okay. Uh, Vaishnav? Sir, uh, uh, sir, so read only, in read only memory, sir, we'll be previously uh, putting our uh, standard data into our uh, cell, right, sir? Uh, I standard mean, data. It, How about you mean by standard data, Vaishnav? It mean, I mean, uh, it's it's already decided. I mean, we can't change that memory. Yeah, read-only memory means whatever is inside the memory, you can't change it. I mean, you can't yes, write sir. into the memory now. So you have to know it. Yes, sir. So, sir, uh, how do we program this data exactly, sir? I mean, you are saying that we'll be programming it on diffusion, contact, metal one or VR. Hmm. So, how will we be uh, programming that? Because uh, I what what uh, I understood is that uh, we, we need some transistors to store some kind of data over there. So, uh, I think we can't have any kind of transistor on metal one layer. Yeah, there so, could be transistors down there which you could connect or not connect. On metal one layer, sir. Metal hmm. one is transistors are there. If you use metal one programmation, you will either connect those transistors or not connect those transistors. If they are not connected, they are not as good as not there, no? Hmm. Yes, sir. So we will see. We will look into this uh, when we talk about ROM cells. I mean, I'm just introducing these types to you. Okay, okay, sir. We are still in that zone of top level data sheet understanding. Okay, sir. Thank you. Hmm? That if someone tells you that I have I'm giving you a diffusion ROM, what does it mean? And if someone tells you I'm giving you a via one ROM, what does it mean? When you look at the data sheet, you should be able to understand that. That is what I mean to say. Okay. Okay, sir. Now, how to do it? We will look at it later. Hmm? Okay. So, uh, now we come to, so any questions here? Yes, sir. I have one. Yes, um, talking about the two port, uh, how exactly internally they divide the addresses? Do, do the two ports have access, access from starting to ending or do they divide it? So we will see. I will tell him single port ka Excel dekhenge, then we will look at a two port, a set of two port cells, and then we will look at ROM cells. Okay. Hmm? Multi port cells are extension of these uh, two port cells only. Okay. So this is just a primer slide for you guys as to what to expect in the next, in today's and the next lecture or the next to next one. Hmm? Uh, so, hello, sir. Yes, Rohit. Uh, sir, kya hume har... uh, I'm not able to hear you, Rohit. Can you please repeat? Rohit, I was not able to hear you. Can you please repeat? Uh, hello, sir. Yeah. Uh, sir, we were saying that, sir, our memory, which we make, we always query. It's necessary every time to make queries. No. Queries no. no. At times, uh, the kind of space you have on a chip could be rectangular and you want a rectangular memory. Mux only allows you to change the aspect ratio as you desire. Hmm? 